Hi, welcome to Mix and Jam, a channel about game development experimentation. Today's project is based on God of War for the PlayStation 4. In the newest game of the series, Kratos has the ability to throw his axe and pull it back, making for a mechanic that feels and looks great. My goal for this project is to try and create a similar mechanic using Unity. Here are the steps I needed to follow. First, I needed to add animations for all of the character motions. Then, I needed to work on the axe throw itself, in which the axe is detached from the player and moves forward while rotating, the axe collision that makes it stick to the walls, and the axe return, where the axe returns to its original position with a small curve. For this project, I created a third-person character control following this video from Filmstorm that teaches how to create that kind of camera control using Cinemachine. I also downloaded this model of Kratos Axe from Dan Hardo in Sketchfab. And like the last video, I downloaded some animations on Mixamo to use on the project. I started by applying the downloaded animations into the character Animator. On Unity's animator, we can organize the character motions, create transitions between them, and set parameters that we can modify by using code. In my case, I used code to set the walking parameter on whenever the character moves so the animator could transition to the proper animation. By using the same technique, I was able to set the aiming and throwing animation. For the axe throw, the first thing I did was to add a rigid body component to the axe. To avoid it from being affected by gravity, I've set the is kinematic property on. In code, all I needed to do for the throw to work was to detach the axe from the player by setting its parent to null, setting the is kinematic property off, and adding a force to the rigid body. By throwing the axe and playing the animation at the same time, the axe is thrown way before the animation reaches the proper frame. To fix that, I went into the throw animation and created an animation event exactly at the frame I wanted the throw to happen. On the animation event, I simply call the throw function on my script. In the game, the axe rotates while moving forward. So I replicated that by creating a script on the axe that changes its Euler angles on update. On that same script, I added Unity's onCollisionEnter function to detect whenever the axe collides. So in that function, I just made the axe freeze by setting isKinematic on the rigid body to true. To make the axe return, I used some of the techniques I found in this video from Omar in which he also recreates the same axe throw using Unity. This video really helped me a lot, so shout out to him. In his video, he uses Lerp to make the axe return and he also uses a quadratic bezier curve to make the axe do an arc when returning. I did the same thing and placed an empty object as a child of the character to use it as a middle curve point. For when the axe is returning, I added a pull animation for the character. Now for some polish, I added some basic particle effects to the axe. One for the glow of the axe, that uses the mesh as a shape for its emission. And another for when the axe is catched with a single emission of a bunch of particles. I also added a trail renderer to the axe as well. To improve in animation a bit more, I did an extra animation state for when the axe is catched to make the motion have more impact. To add even more a sense of impact on the catch, I added a screen shake to the camera by using Cinemachine's impact extension and called it encode. I refined the particles and trail by changing their material. 
and just for experimentation, I added some breakable boxes I did on the scene so the axe could break them. And then finally, I added some post-processing to add some effects to the camera like bloom, depth of field, and motion blur. After some minor adjustments, this is how it turned out. As always, the link for the project's repository is on the description below. If you have anything you would like to see being made on a video, let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it, share with friends, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. There's much more to come. I'll see you in the next one.